If you have ever tried to go into the sculpting tab, either your mesh wouldn't let you sculpt or your sculpting looks basic like this. But in this video, I will take you through the process on how you can get started with sculpting and how you can use free brushes like these to boost your workflow. The first thing that you will notice is that your mesh will not let you sculpt on it. This is because your mesh has no subdivisions. How sculpting works is that it manipulates the geometry of the mesh, and due to lower subdivisions, it doesn't work. You can easily subdivide your mesh multiple times and it will work. Higher subdivisions will get you more details, but keep it in mind that your PC will divorce you. Another way to subdivide is to use subdivision modifier, set it to simple and increase the number, apply it before sculpting because it does not work in sculpt mode. However, there is a modifier that can work in the sculpt mode and that is multi-resolution modifier. Just click Simple Subdivision and you are good to go. You can change levels for the viewport and sculpt mode separately. There is also a way to subdivide where you sculpt. You can also use dynamic topology for micro details. I will talk about it in a minute. You can also use brushes to make your life easier. You can find a lot of these for free, and the one that I am using is the G-Sculpt Library. It has more than 400 brushes, and you can get it for 50% discount from the link in the description. Using brushes from another library is also similar. Just append the blend file and append every brush from it. You can simply just select the brush here and start sculpting. You can change the brush strength to 0.1, and you can change the radius with F. Note that every brush has a different setting. You will notice that you have to subdivide your mesh to add small details like stitches. What you can do is use dynamic topology. Just check this box and set this value to something low. What it does is that it subdivides the mesh where you are sculpting. This comes in handy, but it destroys your topology. You can use a remesh modifier to later fix it. To sculpt in a continuous pattern, just change the stroke to space and adjust the spacing according to you. Also check this option for auto rotation. I hope you will check out the G-Sculpt pack Link is in the description. If you want to generate forests in Blender, watch this video.